game has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. Cups it, gets into the paint, backs it, scores! The scoop of the score for Tijon Lucas. Play-by-play coverage of BYU basketball is brought to you by All Pro Capital, Real Estate Investments, by Big O Tires. Your local Big O Tires has financing available. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Brought to you by Les Olson, your office technology partner. Also by Mountain America Credit Union. Mountain America, official credit union of BYU Athletics. By New Skin, your innovative beauty and wellness company that helps you look, feel, and live better. Also by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. It's time to play BYU basketball. And off Tijon. Tijon lobs it up oh! to Gavin. And the alley-oop hammer. On the New Skin, BYU Sports Network. All right, so welcome courtside here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Stand Sheriff Center for the Diamond Head Classic. BYU's opener against South Florida. Time now to meet the starting lineups brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics for the South Florida Bulls at the 1. Number 23, Caleb Murphy, 6'4", 185, a freshman from Youngstown, Ohio. At the 2, number 1, Javon Green, 6'4", 195, senior from McDonough, Georgia, and a transfer from George Mason. At the 3, number 24, Jameer Chaplin, 6'5", 200, sophomore from Norcross, Georgia. At the 4, Number 20, Sam Hines Jr., 6'6", 215, freshman from Marietta, Georgia, transfer from Denver. And the starting center, number 14, Byron Matos, 6'9", 260, a freshman from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and a transfer from New Mexico. Mark, inter- Mark Durant introduces your BYU Cougars. At the point guard for the Cougars, number 3, Tijan Lucas, 6'1", senior out of Wisconsin at the two, number 13, Alex Barcelo. He's also senior, and he is 6'2 from Chandler, Arizona. Three-man is number 21, Trevin Nell, the junior, 6'5", 197. Four-man, number 33, Caleb Lohner, the sophomore out of Dallas, Texas. He's 6'8", 235. And at the five spot, the big fellow, the man in the middle, number four, Atiki Ali Atiki, 6'9", 213, the freshman out of Tanzania. That's your starting five for the Mark Pope-led Cougars, 9-2, and 1-1 one one on neutral venue. BYU in the navy blues with white tonight and South Florida in the whites with fluorescent green and yellow. Officials are Michael Greenstein along with Kevin Brill and Brooks Wells and we are underway. USF controls the opening tap and the Bulls will take it left to right as we see it and you hear it. Running at top of the key is Javon Green. Green right wing Caleb Murphy. Murphy the only Bull averaging in double figures. He's out between the circles wearing bright green shoes to match those bright green numbers on his jersey. Top of the key to Sam Hines Jr. On the wing right side to Chaplin. Chaplin's going to duck in and pass out with a late shot clock look for Javon Green into a three, and he back rims it. Late in the clock they go, and the miss rebounded by Tijon Lucas. Uh, you won't see many shots go up in the first 15 seconds of the shot clock. BYU did a nice job contesting late in that clock. One of the slower tempo teams in the country. 342nd in tempo coming into tonight's game. Tijon Lucas and we call an offensive foul to the officials on the front end. Atiki Ali Atiki turns it over on an offensive foul down low. Well that was a not not a lot there but that if the referees are calling it tighter that the tighter the better for BYU because USF will really try and be physical with the Cougars. And USF fouls less frequently than only three other teams nationally. They don't foul a lot at all despite the type of defense they do play. Low to Matos. Matos blocked by Atiki Ali Atiki, and he is fouled as he grabbed the rebound. Byron Matos ends up fouling Atiki Ali Atiki, who blocked that shot down low. Tremendous block from Atiki. And just like that, Matos will check out, and they will bring in Jalen McCreary off the bench. So it was a minute and five seconds for Matos. He gets that early foul, and he gets yanked. That reminds me of when I started for BYU. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't long-lasting. <laughs> Caleb Lohner terminates straight away. Right side to Atiki. Angle right to Lucas. On the perimeter right to Barcelo. He'll drive the base. Lean into a shot that's back rimmed and rebounded by Jameer Chaplin. And Alex had a look from three. Didn't take it. Green. Left side. Top side. And now right side to Chaplin for three. And that's strong. Rebound to Tiki Ali Atiki. That was a pretty quick shot from the 4-5 four, four, man. Here to Barcelo. Nell back to Barcelo. Nell will drive it and have it knocked out of his hands on the end line. BYU basketball. No one has scored. 0-0, 1 minute 44 seconds in. And you can get to the under 4-minute media timeout against South Florida and see some very low numbers on the scoreboard. It is tough to get what you want against this team. Barcelo lobs in from the base to Nell on the right wing. 
Back to A.B. right corner. A.B. red hot from three of late. Ten of his last 13 he's made. Marcelo, tight defense on the right side. Sees a double, hooks it low to Loner. Loner, single team, gets into the painted area. Back to the base, tries to lean in. Jump hooks it strong. And did he draw the foul? He did. He'll get two free throws. So Jalen McCreary picks it up. The second on South Florida. First on McCreary and Caleb to the line for two where he's shooting 57% on his free throws this season. 16 for 28 is Caleb at the free throw line. He gets two early in a scoreless game. Almost two minutes in. 18-02 to go in the opening half. I missed the first one. But one of my favorite things about that Weaver State game was BYU really focused on trying to get Caleb touches on the block. And there's been games where it's uh, he's almost like he's allergic to go down on that block, but he was very effective, posted up well, and was decisive. Gets one of two. And so BYU's on the board. First, Fusene Traore will enter for a Tiki Ali Atiki. So Coach Mark Pope making his first switch up front. BYU won, and USF no score. It's USF South Florida. BYU plays a USF and WCC play every year, at least twice. And that USF team is off to a great start to its season. Right wing, Caleb Murphy. They shield him right. Nice. A steal by Lohner. Caleb Lohner, the breakaway, and the one-hand hammer with the right hand. Caleb Lohner makes it 3-0 BYU. Aloha. Ooh, man, that was nice. Great anticipation on the steal. We'll call that our Metal Mart steal of the game, brought to you by Everyone's Metal Store. Palmer's Metal Mart, long two the other way by Sam Hines Jr. Puts the Bulls on the board. 3-2 hour score, 17-25 to play until halftime. Low to Foose. Foose blocked on his way to the hole. He'll draw the foul on McCreary and get two free throws. So Jalen McCreary has two early fouls. The Bulls have three. This is a, a faster foul pace than they are used to. They usually don't foul so much. And it'll put Foose at the line for two. Fusene Traore is shooting 78% at the free throw line. BYU's up 3-2. And... Stays 3-2 as Foose misses the free throw. BYU 1 for 3 at the free throw line. Another reason I like Caleb on the block is he's a terrific passer. And when you can get cutters off of that, if the double comes, he knows how to kick it out to the three-point shooter as the second is good. So 1 of 2 on both free throw trips for BYU. And 4-2, to two, the BYU lead 17-15 to play until halftime. Caleb Murphy, top of the key. And we've got a foul away from play. And Foose just kind of checking a guy as he cut to, through, through the lane and whistling him. Again, I think more fouls the better for BYU in this game. So Traore and Atiki Ali Atiki with the fouls for BYU, one apiece. Baseline send in for South Florida. Left corner, Javon Green. Splits defenders, jumps into the paint, shoots and misses, and then Caleb Loner tipped it in. Yeah, he, he may have backed off. I think he was going in either way, but a nice little shot, a little runner there from USF. 4-4 the score, three minutes in. It'll go to Javon Green. But Loner may have gotten the last impetus on the basketball. Either way, Lucas cut off mid-alley right. Hands out to Barcelo. A.B. Get the, he's a 0 for 1 as A.B. missed a mid-range jumper. We've got an offensive foul on BYU on the front end. Tijon Lucas shove off. And it'll be USF South Florida basketball. 16-43 to play until halftime in a 4-4 basketball game. Alex Barcelo was scoreless till the 2.30 mark at Weber State. Only had two shots. And... He's already passed up, in my view, a couple of threes where he had enough space to get that shot off. I'd like him to be more aggressive. Once A.B. got going, he was oh, gone. Man, he, <laughs> get him started. It's going to get started, but then whoosh. Murphy. Shaded right outside the perimeter. Hands high to Corey Walker Jr. has just checked in. Long three left side for the lead. Back iron miss. By Jameer Chaplin, rebounded by BYU. Tijon Lucas, front court, left side. Straight away, low to Loner. Loner has his pass to the right corner, cut off. The steal by South Florida. And Jameer Chaplin, front court. Walker, top of the key. Walker into an 18-footer and knocks it down. You, South Florida's got the lead as Corey Walker Jr. has his first two. 6-4 to the score, 4-0 spurt for South Florida. The under-16-minute media timeout is coming up. Fusene Traore, right wing to Barcelo. Barcelo terminates top of the key. Angle left loader. Stripe extended left to Trevin Nell. Nell with a 12-second shot clock to Fus out near the timeline. Right wing to Lucas. Lucas to the free throw line. Hands low to Fus. And Fus with the hammer. Ties the game at six. 
Great job by Tijon to get in that paint and draw the defenders. They'll bounce pass off to Foos. Tijon Lucas averaging five assists per game for BYU. Walker top of the key. 6 XR score of 15-20 to go until halftime. Long two. Green got it. Javon Green has four. Yeah, only a 33% shooter, and he knocks down that when it starts to feel a little bit early. 8-6, to six, South Florida leads. They're finding that elbow jumper a couple times in this game for, for the Bulls. Boos to Barcelo. Barcelo top of the key. Picks up his dribble. Releases to Lohner. Five minutes gone here in the first half. South Florida 8 and BYU 6. Tijon Lucas will penetrate. Kick in the corner. Nell for 3, and he missed it. Wide open three, a slap out by Lohner, collected by Barcelo into the paint. Teardrop is no good, followed by Foose is good. And we are tied at eight as it rolls around and drops down for Fusene Traore. We'll call that a Zions Bank shot of the game, brought to you by Zions Bank for a financial slam dunk. Zions Bank is for you. Jameer Chaplin in from 15 feet, shoots and back irons it. Rebound, South Florida. The ball on the ground, knocked away by Lucas, and now a tie-up. It'll be on the arrow to BYU after this. Alternate possession situation. 14-28 to go until halftime. 8-8 eight, eight hour score. South Florida and BYU deadlocked here on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Well, BYU basketball is brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. BYU's outboarding South Florida 7-1 early. The BYU's three turnovers to USF's one has given the Bulls three more shot attempts off. USF is four for nine, BYU three for six. As we come back in, it'll be BYU with the basketball as Tijon Lucas forced to tie up before the timeout. Swiping a ball away in the paint. It'll be Cougar basketball in an 8-8 basketball game. South Florida and BYU tied up early. South Florida being led by Javon Green and his four points, averaging 9.4 per game. All points for BYU coming from the big guys, Caleb and Foos. And the reason for that is that South Florida really hedges hard on that high screen at the top of the key. They sell out with their big men, and it causes trouble for BYU. But if you can kind of get around it, then you've got opportunities in the paint because they've come up so high with their big men. It'd be nice. Again, to have Gavin because he was really good at that alley oop getting the dunk, but Foose and uh, Caleb done a nice job so far. Seneca Knights in the game for BYU. Goes low to Foose, but not a great pass, and it was should have been picked off by Corey Walker Jr., but he bobbled it out of bounds. It'll stay BYU basketball. I might have talked about what I just did in timeout, so Seneca maybe forced it that time because they know it's been open. Barcelo, base left to Lohner. At the left post, out to A.B. in the left corner. Straight away to Seneca Knight. Seneca drive and kick. Nell, our big jo- pardon, Johnson. Spencer Johnson in for BYU on the right wing. They cycle to the left wing to Barcelo. Barcelo, top of the key. Underhand scoop to Foos. Foos low to Lo- Loner. Loner jump hooks, and he hurried it and shot it high and missed it. Rebound to South Florida. The right idea. He gave a pump fake, but then kind of a weird shot from Caleb. Three-pointer right corner. It is good. South Florida takes its game-high three-point lead. D.J. Patrick knocks down the three, and this is one of the worst three-point teams in the country, South Florida. Left corner, Barcelo. BYU's down 11-8. Low to Foose. Foose blocked by Jake Boggs, and here come the Bulls the other way. Right wing to D.J. Patrick. Up top to Walker. Thought about the three. Caleb Murphy now top of the key. Also has a look at the three, won't take it. Runs Johnson over the screen into an 18-footer, and it's back rim to rebound. Collected by Caleb Lohner. Lohner, front court left side to Spencer Johnson. Johnson has it knocked away, and he's fouled by D.J. Patrick. Non-shooting foul. 13-18 to go until halftime. BYU's trailing 11-8. Gideon George and Atiki Ali Atiki in. Fusene Traore and Caleb Lohner will check out for BYU. 13-18 to go until halftime. South Florida picking up its fourth team foul of the first half. BYU with three. It'll be a sideline send-in for Seneca Knight. 27-second shot clock for BYU. Knight playing with Barcelo, Johnson, George, and Atiki. Ali Atiki. George left corner, Seneca. Shoots and misses from three. George slapped the rebound. And Matos saved in on the baseline to Boggs. Boggs, Moss. Trey Moss front court right side. Dribble handoff on the right to Patrick. Into a three on the angle right. Missed it. Rebound, Gideon George. Outlets to Barcelo. BYU just eight points in the first seven-plus here in Honolulu. Seneca Knight, top of the key. Atiki Ali Atiki hands off to Barcelo. Bounce pass to Seneca. Seneca drives the left end line. Back out to A.B. Cycles high to Gideon George. George will drive on Boggs. 
Turnaround jumper is short. Rebound. Stick back by BYU. Miss by Ali Atiki. And USF in front court. Trey Moss, right wing. Getting looks inside, but not finishing. DJ Patrick, bounce pass in the corner. Boggs will shoot it and miss it. Offensive rebound, Matos. Matos, back to Boggs. Three-pointer will fake it, drive it, show it, and miss a weird runner. And then BYU saves on the inline on the rebound. Cougars front court right side. Down 3, 11-8. Alex Barcelo, 0 for 2 from the field. No points. Spencer Johnson, perimeter left. Hand off to Seneca Knight, looking a little disjointed right now. And USF can do that to you. Skip pass to Johnson, 3 for the tie. No, and BYU is 0 for 3 from 3. And down 3, 11 to 8. Only 8 points more than 8 minutes into this game. And this is not yeah, unexpected I'm, yeah, at all. I'm not, no, no, no shocker there, but uh, it would be nice to see some threes going for BYU. Shot it so well last three games. 11.40 to play until halftime. South Florida 11, BYU 8. Trey Moss measuring his steps in the left corner. Goes right wing to Patrick. Patrick stops at 15 feet. Boggs top of the key three, and he's air ball. Yeah. BYU basketball <laughs> after this. US, South Florida one for seven from deep. It'll be Cougar basketball next. BYU down three. The Cougs shooting 3 for 12, 25% from the field, 0 for 3 from 3. It's a South Florida game so far. 11.24 to go until halftime. South Florida 11, BYU 8 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard for the scoreboard update. An upset in top 20 action. Number 19, Tennessee takes down 6th ranked Arizona, 77 to 73. Also at the half, it is number two Duke trailing Virginia Tech. The Hokies with a 36-32 lead over the Blue Devils. Back out to Honolulu and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Thank you, Shep. BYU's not scored in three minutes and 20 seconds. USF hasn't scored in two minutes and 30 seconds. 11-8, South Florida leading BYU. We're back in Cougar basketball front court. Cougars go right to left as we see it and you hear it. Gideon George, top of the key, drives to the free throw line, terminates and bounces it low. It's bobbled, collected by Atiki Ali. Atiki on the floor out to George, cycled Lucas to Johnson. Johnson drive, floats, scores. Spencer Johnson, baseline runner right side, ends the drought. Scoring drought of nearly four minutes for BYU. 11 to 10, South Florida leads the Cougars by one. Good job getting to this spot between the three-point defender and the big guys. Little jump, little jump runner. Jameer Chaplin, right wing DJ Patrick. Patrick gets a screen set by Matos. Patrick refuses it. Now hooks a pass to Matos, top of the key. Knocked away from Byron, got it back, and kicks left wing. Penetrate to the base left, out to Chaplin for three. And it's wide left. Gideon George has the rebound. Quick outlet to Lucas. Down floor, Johnson. Johnson collects on the end line and turned it over on the baseline. Giveaway for BYU in transition. 11 to 10, South Florida leads it. Ambitious pass down floor was too heavy for Spencer Johnson. And all he could do is try to rescue the ball on the end line and saved it in to South Florida. Matos just inside the three-point line. Back to the basket. Gives to Moss. Moss will drive and kick. Three right side is rounded out. And out of bounds off of BYU. It'll be South Florida basketball. Cougars couldn't squeeze the rebound. Just knocked it out. And so it'll be South Florida with a 20-second shot clock. 10.03 game clock. BYU averaging 77 points a game. You're lucky to get to 57 when you play South Florida. 11 to 10. Bulls lead. Just one of nine for three. But you got to get those rebounds when they do miss. South Florida... Looking for a three off the inbounds, but stepping on the sideline with that back foot was DJ Patrick, so he gives it over to BYU on the turnover. Gideon George into Tijon Lucas, and BYU now past the 10 minute mark, still down in this game, 11 to 10. South Florida leads it. This is prototypical South Florida basketball, exactly what we thought we might see. And a whistle away from play, a hold on South Florida. Now they were posting up Seneca there, and he had good position, and that's where the foul came from. I like that idea. I think getting Seneca post touches was a good strategy for BYU. DJ Pat- big, sorry, it takes the big guys away. you got big guys to the perimeter, and Seneca can work on his man. Patrick's second foul puts him on the bench, brought in as Jameer Chaplin. Five fouls for the Bulls to three for BYU. Gideon George takes the inbound on the right wing to Atiki Ali Atiki at the free throw line. Up high to Lucas. Left wing George for three. Got it. Gideon George with BYU's first three-pointer of the game. It's our first Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. That's $50 donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union. BYU back in front by a score of 13-11. to The baseline drive by Green, right wing Hines, topside Murphy. 
Caleb Murphy without a point. He's the leading scorer, 13 points per game. 9.20 to go till halftime. Murphy left corner. They'll fake that three, drive it, stop on the left block, squeeze it up and miss it. Hines on the miss. Sees the rebound to Atiki. Uh, Atiki had to go get that one. He did it. Nice job. Left wing. Seneca for three. In and out. Look Seneca good. Knight missed the three. It looked like it was going in. Front court right side, Caleb Murphy. Murphy up top, Chaplin. Left wing, Green. In from 15. Shoots and scores. Javon Green's got six. And we're tied up at 13. 8.45 to play here in the first half. Javon Green, three for four for six points. Lucas terminates 25 feet. Goes low to Atiki. Atiki... Almost turned it over and then turned it over. And then USF gave it right back to BYU by falling into the sideline with Sam Hines Jr. Wow. This is ragged basketball, folks. Satiki Ali Atiki will check out after the giveaway. Near giveaway, Fusene Traore will check back in for BYU. 13-13, 8.33 to go until halftime. The idea is right. I mean, they're going to the right place and just make better passes. Tijon Lucas will drive and kick. Gideon for three right side. No. Rebound to Jameer Chaplin. Outlet to Murphy. Murphy, front court, top of the key. Left to right come the South Florida Bulls. Caleb Murphy dribble handoff to Chaplin. Chaplin gives in turn to Javon Green straight away. Right wing Murphy. Slow bounce to a 15-second shot clock. 8-10 game clock. Murphy shoots an 18-footer and missed that. Rebound. Seneca Knight had it knocked away. And Gideon George ends up stealing it back for BYU. And then he's fouled in backcourt. Team almost, foul number six. Almost like late in the game where you're trying to foul. They're grabbing at, at Gideon. He finally gets the whistle. Sam Hines Jr. fouls. And so team foul number six for South Florida to BYU's three. BYU will shoot the rest of the way as Spencer Johnson checks out. Barcelo back in. So A.B. still without a point in the game. And it's very similar to the Weber State game in terms of how long it took A.B. to start scoring. George will inbound to Barcelo. Barcelo, George, Knight. Lucas and Traore. Straight away Seneca. Cycle George to Lucas. Stripe extended right side. Straight away to Foose. Foose to Barcelo. Barcelo curls to the top. A one-hand pass picked off. By Corey Walker Jr. Another turnover for BYU. Turnover number five for the Cougs. Long three, top of the key. It's an air ball. And it'll be BYU basketball after this. 7.34 to go until halftime. South Florida 13 and BYU 13. BYU shooting 31%. South Florida shooting 29%. This is what you get when you get South Florida on the schedule. We're back after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's pause 10 seconds for our stations to identify themselves on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Radio on KBYU FM HD2 Provo. You're listening to BYU Football on BYU Radio. BYU's made made back-to-back field goal attempts only twice in this game. They made their second and third shot attempts back-to-back. Then they made their 13th and 14th shot attempts back-to-back, but BYU's made only two of its last 10 from the field. In a 13-13 basketball game, BYU 5 for 16 and on a, another scoring drought of 2 minutes and 10 seconds currently. So BYU 2 for its last 10, South Florida 1 for its last 11. And BYU basketball as we come back in in a 13-13 basketball game. Already most of the first half is done. 7.34 to go until halftime and just 26 points have been scored between these two teams. Well, USF doing a good job. They, they double team that. BYU likes to run a high screen and roll. So the, the double team comes on Alex. they got a big guy, and they're just trying to just get, get in the passing lane so he can't make the pass of the open guy. And then rotating a defender from behind to steal the pass to the big guy. So they do a nice job of that, but there's openings. Tijon Lucas doubled on the sideline. Low to Foose. Foose gets right to the rim up and in. Foose and has seven to lead BYU. Foose patiently waits and then squeezes it off the window. BYU by two, 15 to 13. That's, that's the key word, patient. Just don't rest your shot. Find the opening. Nice job, Foose. Matos hands to Green for three. Top of the key, and he knocks it down. Javon Green with nine to lead all scorers, and USF goes back in front, 16 to 15. <laughs> Javon did, making it rain here in Hawaii. That was a high shot. Tijon Lucas hands off to Barcelo straight away. A.B. in the corner. Loner for three to answer. No. Rebound South Florida. Caleb Lohner is now one for 18 from the arc. 
And a breakaway down low. The handoff to Corey Walker Jr. He scores. He's got four. And South Florida takes the three-point lead, 18-15. Five-nothing run for the Bulls. A long rebound turned into a fast break for the Bulls. Loner double-teamed and turned it over in the post. Blind pass. And South Florida the other way. Javon Green in from 15. Banks and misses that one. The rebound, Caleb Lohner. Distributes to Tijon Lucas, front court right side. And BYU turns it over again in the paint, although stepping on the ball and kicking it out of bounds is Sam Hines Jr. USF had the basketball given to them, but Hines stepped on it and kicked it out of bounds. It'll be BYU basketball, fortunately, with 6.13 to go till halftime. BYU down 3, 18 to 15. Cougars shooting 33%, South Florida shooting 33%. Inbounds to Lohner. Lohner straddling the three-point line right side. Goes to Barcelo left side. Left corner to Tijon Lucas. Lucas and Barcelo, zero points. Another turnover down low. Near turnover. Knocked out of bounds by South Florida. Stays BYU basketball. Barcelo and Lucas were combined 0 for 2 from the field for no uh, points. And again, Barcelo there. Uh, he had bogs on him. He could have taken that shot. There was space. A.B. wide open for three. Got to take that one, and he does, and he makes it. There it is. Alex Barcelo with his We're first s- points of the night. You are smart, Greg. <laughs> Have Alex shoot. That's the, <laughs> that's the strategy. 18-18, another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. The Cougs second three, and Barcelo finally on the board. 5.40 to go until halftime. Backdoor cut, turned over by the Bulls. BYU basketball to BYU knock it out. Cougs knocked it out. It'll stay South Florida basketball. Was a nice job by Foos because... They were going to dribble at the player and then have him go back door, and that was Alex was beat, and Foose knocked it away. Caleb Murphy, the leading scorer for USF, is also scoreless in this game. Murphy, three-point range left, guarded by Tijon Lucas. Fuseni on the help, the drift pass in the corner, another deflection out by BYU. Now you're down to a seven-second shot clock for South Florida. 5.31 to play until halftime. It's a tie game at 18 BYU's large lead three. South Florida's large lead three. It's been a one-possession game all game. Green off balance goes to Walker with a four-second shot clock. Long two for Walker, and it's an air ball. And Caleb Lohner collects it in front of the rim. Lohner takes it front court left side. BYU 18, South Florida 18. Lohner drives low, takes some contact. Out to Barcelo, cycled high to Nell. Nell right wing Lucas, 5'10 to play until halftime. Lohner. Touch pass, Barcelo, three left corner, and Alex Barcelo makes his first two threes, and timeout called by South Florida. BYU takes a three-point lead, 21-18. to Alex Barcelo back-to-back triples. Another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. We'll stay right here for a 30-second break, five minutes and four seconds to go until halftime, and the Cougs have scored six in a row on two three-pointers from Alex Barcelo, who was scoreless before those two threes. Well, BYU's doing things to set Alex up. That time, Caleb did two really nice things. He got it on the perimeter. He's got a lightning quick first step. He, he dribbles down to the paint. Is patient, doesn't force it, kicks it back out. Now USF is on is behind defensively. Then you had a rotation around the perimeter, and again, Caleb makes a great pass to the corner for an open out. That's how you get Alex open. You can't get him open just running that mixer. It, it, it's the dribble penetration that collapse the defense, and then they're behind, and then the ball movement. Really nice job. And the assist goes to Caleb Lohner on that last three. BYU basketball brought to you by All Pro Capital. Put your money to work with smart real estate investments. Visit allprocapital.com for more information. All Pro Capital, a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. Cougars now up to 40% from the field. USF, South Florida at 32%. South Florida basketball in front court as we come back in. Corey Walker looks back door, not there. Bounces once and gives on the perimeter high to Javon Green. Nine points for Green here in the first half. Walker top of the arc to give to Murphy. Murphy with an eight-second shot clock. Around Foose and blocked at the rim by Tijon Lucas into the hands of Walker. Boggs for three, won't take Got it. We'll drive it to Murphy. Long two with a one-second shot clock to miss the rebound. Caleb Lohner. Great board by Caleb. And a good sequence by BYU, yeah. BYU defensively. Started with a great block from Lucas. Now let's see if Lucas can get going a little. Lucas low Alex to Foose. Foose. Hand oh, off yeah. Barcelo, reverse lay and score! Fusene Trone with the assist to Alex Barcelo, who scored the last eight for BYU. The Cougs have a game wow. high lead of five, what 23 vision. to 18. What vision from Fus. He was going to shoot that to the last second when he saw Alex cutting. Walker, mid alley left, posting up on Fus. 
Sends out to Boggs. Straight away Murphy. Murphy with a 15-second shot clock. Four-minute game clock here in the first half. Murphy left to Boggs. Boggs hounded by Lohner. Straight away Green. Green drives and bumps Barcelo and takes the hit by A.B. Foul on Barcelo. Non-shooting situation. Team foul number four. It'll be South Florida out of bounds when we come back to Honolulu. 3.51 to play until halftime. BYU 23 and South Florida 18. The Cougs right now on an 8-0 run and all eight scored by Alex Barcelo. 23-18, Cougs on top with 3.51 to go until halftime. We are taking a break here at the Diamond Head Classic on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. BYU not the only team from Utah in action tonight. Southern Utah hosting Dixie State. 15 minutes to go in the second half, and it's all T-Birds. Southern Utah with a 54-26 lead over Dixie State. Back out to the islands and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Jason, thank you. BYU's made its last three shots from the field. USF's missed its last four shots from the field. Make it five consecutive misses is off the inbounds. They shoot a shot that hits the top of the backboard. Jameer Chaplin on the miss, and BYU will have the basketball leading 23-18. Cougs looking to extend an 8-0 scoring run. Could be four in a row if Alex shoots again. Hmm. That, that's the way to get a streak going, have him shoot all of them. Gideon George terminates, goes low to Seneca Knight, mid-post left. The post up, bounces once, twice, hard, the up and under, and travel turnover. So BYU gives it over to South Florida. Seneca... After a 14-point night at Weber State, scoreless on 0 for 2 and a turnover there. So BYU stays up 5, 23 to 18, with 3.30 to go until halftime. South Florida shooting 29% to BYU's 43. And another reach. Oh, this is offensive this time. Team foul number 7 against South Florida. It's team control, so no free throws. But the offensive turns it over on one end after BYU turned it over at the other. And so BYU basketball again, the 5-point lead, 23-18. Low scoring game. It's what you get when you play South Florida. Only three opponents have gotten to 60 on South Florida this year. Their season high allowed 66 on the weekend by Florida. No team has shot better than 46% from the field or 42% from three in any given game. Spencer Johnson whips it left wing to Marcelo. Marcelo top of the key back to Spence. Spence will drive it, get right to the rim, layup, missed. Offensive rebound. By Atiki Ali Atiki, and he's brought to the ground, and it'll be free throws, one and one. Spencer just couldn't finish, got right to the rim. I think that happened against Weber State as well on the weekend, where he gets to the hole and just doesn't see it drop for him, but it'll be Atiki Ali Atiki with a one and one situation on team foul number eight. Big free throws here in a low scoring game, 23 18. The BYU lead five with 3.08 to go until halftime. Yeah, we call that a million dollar move penny shot when you don't finish those, but. Free throws missed badly, but we have early entry from on BYU. It wouldn't matter anyway. So the missed lay-in and the free throw lane violation, which would have been a free throw miss anyway on the front end, and Cougars leave some points on the table. Yeah, that that missed layup is tough. I mean, you got it. You can't afford that in games when points are so scarce to have layups miss. Caleb Murphy strong bounce to the right side. Boggs. Straight away, cycle left to Green. Green between the circles, Chaplin. Chaplin, penetration, cuff, reverse lay-in short. Got his offensive rebound, kicks out to Murphy. Murphy straight away, Boggs. Green, top of the arc. Hands off back to Boggs, 25 feet away left side. 10-second shot clock for Chaplin. Chaplin, outside the perimeter to Hines. Hines will drive it, get right to the rim, scoop it and miss it. And Caleb Lohner on the rebound for BYU. Oh, for the last seven as Caleb Lohner lost the dribble, turns it over. Break away the other way to Murphy. Murphy held on his way to the hoop. It'll be free throws. BYU just, just throwing the ball away right there on a straight dribble down the floor. Uh, Caleb did so well. He was handling it so well, made a nice move. And I was about to say, hey, nice handles, big man. And then uh, this kind of slipped out of his hand. Murphy will shoot two. With BYU up five, but let's remember this phase of the game here when the Cougars had the five-point lead and just could not add to it. As Murphy misses the free throw, it'll keep it at a five-point game. He's scoreless in the game. The leading scorer for South Florida. Well, 23-18, BYU the lead of five points. Had a few chances to add to it, go begging. Three turnovers in the last two minutes for BYU as the free throw is made by Murphy for his first point. Yeah, nine in the game. They had 
A lot early at Weber, much better second half turnover wise. Tijon Lucas still nice. scoreless in the game. Low to Loner, and Loner lays it up and in. Tijon Lucas the assist. And it's BYU by a game high six now. 25 to 19, 205 to go till halftime. Well done. Caleb on the finish. Hasn't scored, but three assists for Tijon. Four assists, excuse me. Murphy, one. green, long three left side, air ball, and Loner collects it beneath the basket. Seven, eight rebounds now for Loner. Lucas terminates at the free throw line. In a corner, Seneca open three. In and out. Rebound Spencer Johnson. Reset to Lucas for three. Oh, it's back rimmed. Rebound Knight and over the, oh, they say over the back for Seneca. Ah, gosh darn it. 137 to go till halftime. BYU looks at three. No and no. And then a loose ball foul in the fight for the rebound. Team foul number six. It'll be South Florida out of bounds. Yeah, that first one was in and out. They've had two of those in this game. And you got the feeling if they could hit that one, yeah, they might really open it up. 25-19. The score stays. BYU up six. 90 seconds to go till halftime. BYU shooting 40% from the field. 27 from the arc. USF 26 and 17% respectively. Boggs between the circles. Terminates on the arc left. Chaplin. Chaplin spins low on Johnson. Gets right to the rim. And the score. Jameer Chaplin with his first two. Cuts the lead to four. Cougars had good looks to make it nine. Now it's a four-point game. 25-21. Spencer Johnson, right wing Knight. Knight dribble handoff to Lucas on the arc right. The slip screen low by Loner. They go instead left wing to Barcelo. Barcelo windmills on green. Goes left to Johnson. Cycled right wing Lucas. Eight second shot clock. Tijon picks it up. No look to Spencer. Spencer teardrop in the paint. No, and he missed it. Rebound South Florida. They can make it a one possession. Oh, traveling. Oh, a trouble dribble in backcourt. So South Florida gave it right back to BYU. An unforced error by the Bulls, and the Kooks catch a break there. So 43.9 seconds to go until halftime, and again, BYU leads by four, 25-21. Caleb Lohner has a seat. Well, there's good defense, uh, and, and then there's just bad playing. And, and Oh, we got a technical on USF's coach. There's a lot going on here, but an ugly game. Part of that is because both teams play excellent defense. Part of it is just not, not making good decisions. So BYU puts Alex Barcelo with the free throw line. Barcelo with eight points, and they all came in a row on three consecutive makes. AB makes the free throw. He's made 14 consecutive free throws, shooting 90% from the line. Makes them both. So 15 in a row for AB, and the lead goes to six for BYU. 27-21, 43.9 to go till halftime. It's point of interruption. I believe here on this one, or is it possession to BYU? You don't BYU, yeah, BYU possession, that's right. So yeah. chance to go up uh, 10 here, and it, BYU just yep. missed a shot, and USF coming down, and they, they double dribble. Barcelo takes the inbounds, drifts a pass to Spencer Johnson, left corner, wing left to Lucas. Lucas will drive, blocked at the rim, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. So between the technical free throws and now the two from Tijon, a chance to go up eight late here in the first half. 37.4. Lucas is fouled, and he's scoreless in the half. Gets to score from the free-throw line. They'll, they'll get another possession, too, here. So pretty good uh, pretty good ch- turn of events here as Tijon makes the first. Lucas, four assists, as Mark noted earlier, to go along with that single point now. A couple of rebounds. He had a block shot, a really nice block shot uh, earlier in the half. Yeah, it looked like an easy layup, but Tijon came out of nowhere to block that. 28-21, 29-21. The Cougs have their game-high lead of eight now with 36 seconds to go until halftime. BYU will lead at the break, and BYU's 8-1 and one when leading at halftime. 30 seconds to go in the game, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Caleb Murphy, no field goals here in the first half to Javon Green, who has four field goals for nine points. Boggs, stripe extended left, straight away Walker. Walker right wing, Chaplin. Chaplin drives, gets held out front. Before the shot. Turned out to be a good foul, although they'll get some time here. One and one. Oh, thought it was still in this. Not bonus, but yes, front end here. So one and one for Jameer Chaplin, a 77% free throw shooter. South Florida, just one of two at the free throw line. BYU six of eight. This is a front end situation for Chaplin with two points. He's 10 of 13 on his free throws on the year. He's 11 of 14 on his free throws on the year. Makes the first to make it a seven-point game. 29-22, BYU leading it with 17.1 to go. So the Cougars will have or should have the final shot of the first half. 
They haven't been great, but they did hit one against Weber State the other night at the end of the first half. Chaplin second. Strong rebound. Cougars grab it. So one for two on the trip, and now the Cougars can play for the final shot of half number one, leading by seven. The Cougs should lead by no fewer than seven. 29-22, seven seconds to go until halftime. Down to five, down to four, down to three for Tijon Lucas. To two, Seneca drive. And it's yes. laid up and in. Blocked and in. And a foul at the horn. That was blocked. They in called the it. Hoop. Did they call a foul too, or just call it good? I think they they no, just a bucket. But yeah. it went in anyway. So they were going to call goaltend either way, no foul. But the shot is good at the horn. The driving lay-in from Seneca Knight. They're going to go check the monitor to make sure that it went through the hoop, or the shot was released before the shot clock expiration. But if the basket stands, it'll be 31-22. So the emphatic gesturing from the official of basket good is not the and one designation, but that the basket is good before the break, and we'll see if it does indeed stand. They've taken off the headset, and they call it a good bucket. So, wow, 31-22. BYU takes a nine-point lead at the halftime horn. As with seconds remaining, Seneca Knight began his drive from the right corner, got to the 10, and squeezed it over the rim right at the halftime horn. BYU by nine at the break. We'll come back for the halftime recap next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.